How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake and today we are out here in the wood yard and I'm going to attempt to answer a question that I myself have had for quite some time and I get asked from time to time and I have never really known the exact answer. Um, and that question is, is one, why do I stack all of my firewood into these totes and spend the time cutting them and then stacking the wood? I have a conveyor, actually two, one that works pretty well being the linket and the other the green bean that has its moments. Um, and they're like, well, you have a conveyor, why don't you just convey it right into the totes? And my answer is always that um, I, I never knew exactly how much loose wood you could fit into a full IBC tote, just like loosely stacked off of a conveyor. Um, totes for a while, up until recently, you know, th this past year, were always kind of at a premium. I never had enough, but now that I have like around the 70 mark, um, I think that Obviously, you're not going to get as much wood in loosely, you know, piled into one of these totes as stacked. Everybody knows that. But how much less are you actually getting in is the real question. And now that I have 70 of these things, if three of these stacked, you know, equals a full cord, i.e. one of these is one third of a cord, if they're loosely piled in off the conveyor, that would save me a bunch of time. It would save me a bunch of effort not having to stack. I wouldn't have to cut out all of these, these uh, cages and stuff. And if it was just, uh, you know, as small of a difference as being going from one third of a cord to one fourth of a cord, then I could see the justification in, you know, yes, you're, you're using up an extra tote to account for a cord of wood, but think of how much effort you've saved not having to stack it in the totes. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I got um, a bunch of these totes, as you can see here behind me. Um, I haven't started processing them yet because I wanted to do this video and answer this question. Um, because the, you know, the results of this experiment, if you will, uh, will determine how I move forward with um, you know, all these totes here behind me. So we're gonna get the bladder out of this tote. We're just gonna leave it as is, and then we're going to fill it up off of the Linkit conveyor and Rugged Made splitter as high up as I feel, not as high up as the conveyor will stack it, but as high up as I feel comfortable moving it with the tractor so that it doesn't all fall all over the place when moving it. Um, because then again, you know, that's just creating more work for myself if I have to go around and pick up wood, you know, all along the wood yard road because it fell out. Um, so we're gonna get this thing opened up and then we're going to fill this up, dump it out and then stack it into another, you know, large tote and see how much wood actually fits in and uh, how, just how well it actually fills up a, uh, a tote when it's stacked. So stick around. Wrong way. From the sounds of it, it looks like my theory of keeping all the caps off to dry out the remnants of the mulch dye in these bladders has worked. And it looks and sounds all chunky, so that's good. Um, it's no longer wet. Okay. One large tote, ready for firewood. Okay, now I'm going to, that's like roughly where I think it needs to be. I'm going to lower the conveyor down so it's not dropping so far.
Now, I feel like that's probably like a pretty good height. Um, it's like in line with right about here. So I'm imagining the wood will fall off a little bit, you know, you know kind of towards the center. So that way it's pretty much centered and uh, we should be in, in good shape. Uh, I just got to cut up some wood and then we can fire up the, the rugged made splitter. Well guys, we got a whole pile of oak cut up here. Um, this should be more than enough to fill up that one large tote just off the end of the conveyor. Um, it's, it's funny how fast you cut up wood with the 500i. It's such a fast saw, it's, it's you know pretty pleasurable. You're not really fighting it. Um, we did have a cascade avalanche of logs, but that's good because I like when it does that because it makes it a, a little less treacherous at least for these next like five or so logs um but we're getting through this pile little by little it's been a while since we split wood so uh, i'm looking forward to running the soak through and finally getting an answer to this uh question that i've had for pretty much ever since i started the youtube channel so here we go guys that is what we were left with out of the link it conveyor um that took about 25 minutes to fill up we got through i'd say about half that pile that was over here um the only thing i did as far as manipulation of this you can see pieces spilled out on the ground but i did come when it was like i'd say 90 to 80 80 to 90 percent full i came and i just flattened out the top and kind of spread it around just like i would do in the dump trailer just once to uh maximize the amount of wood we could get in there but that's what it looks like just loose off the conveyor um now i am going to pick up the pieces that fell on the ground and uh we'll get a final look Okay, so that is everything. I mean, this thing is pretty full. It, for the most, for the most part, it looks like it's, you know, got it in there pretty tight. I mean, there are some voids like over here and down there and stuff, but uh, I'm curious to see how much wood this actually is stacked up into a large tote. So uh, 
I'm gonna throw the big tool rack on the back of the tractor for a little bit of ballast. Grab a large tote with a cutout in it. Um, it kind of sucks, but the only way we're gonna really be able to do this is to dump this tote just out onto the ground and then stack it off the ground. Um, you know, since there isn't a cutout or something, uh, you know, it's gonna make it a little hard to, to get the wood out of there. Okay, guys, we, or I, I always say we, unless Chris is here, it's, it's only me. Um, but I'm gonna pick up this toad here. I guess this will be a good test to see how easily or I guess well stacked out of the conveyor this wood is. So far, so good. Doesn't seem to be going anywhere. We dropped, dropped one piece. That's not bad. Now I got an empty tote right here. Okay, so as you guys see, I got an empty tote right here. It is a large as well, same size as this. Only difference is the front face, or most of the front of the face of this one, is cut out. So now I'm going to take this tote, dump it on the ground, which is so counterintuitive if you've been uh, watching Dude Ranch DIY for a while here, but for the sake of science, we are going to create extra work for ourselves, dump this on the ground, and then stack it up in here and see how we do. So, here we go. Okay, that was not the best dump. <laughs> um, this came out, this bar here. Now these do go back together like so, but just got a little bent. That's back like that. All right, so we got our empty tote. Uh, which could have been dumped more gracefully. I guess I'm, you could say I'm a little out of practice because it's, haven't been doing much bulk deliveries lately. So now I'm just going to uh, throw a quick time lapse on. We'll get this wood stacked up into this tote. Here we go. guys uh sarah came out and helped she I'm uh, back yeah she's back it's been a while since you've been on a video yeah i came back with the sun yeah the sun is back yes. and the wood is stacked and uh this is what we have left just some scraps so we will talk about that in a second but i mean this is what we got out of that loose stacked off the conveyor tote that was over here and overflowing um we are you know, up past the second to last rung. And we also did fill in the middle as always. So the fact that we are up past this rung means that there is more wood in there 
than a small tote. And I consider a small tote, and I mean, it's, it's, it's very subjective, I guess, but I consider a small tote because I fill in this middle part with the smaller pieces and some kindling to be one full third of a cord when stacked up. And I have tried that on four by eight racks and it fills them up with no problem. So the fact that this large tote loose stacked off the conveyor when stacked is that full, I'd say that we have a third of a cord or a face cord. I think so too. Are you, are you following me? I'm following. Okay, so that is good. Um, the experiment, I think that, you know, is worth it. That is what I was going for. Um, because I sell these large totes when they're full, I advertise them as just over a third of a cord. So the small ones are one third of a cord. These bigger ones are just over one third of a cord. So I am pretty happy with those results. Um, I think we might have to start doing this because I think it could save us some time. Now, I'm happy too, because that means we don't have to stack anymore. Right, stacking, nobody likes to stack. Mm -mm. Um, the one downfall is, obviously, it does allow for more scraps to be, you know, just conveyed off the conveyor into the original tote. Um, but we might, in the future, be able to combat that by adding some grizzly bars or just, you know, some more filtration to allow this smaller stuff to fall down through. But at the end of the day, I mean, for one third of a cord. That's not that's, that much. It's can, not terrible. Can't I mean, this if, like help start a fire? It could definitely help start a fire, you know, the bigger stuff. And once you sort out, you know, all the, the bigger stuff from that, you're just left with some dust. And I think people expect a little bit of dirt, you know, in their driveway, um, you know, when I'm dumping these things for delivery. So I'm pretty happy with that overall. Um, I mean that, like Sarah said, it could save us a ton of time because we have 23 totes, well now 22 totes over there that need to be filled up. Um, and if we could just do that straight off of a conveyor rather than into the dump trailer and then having to spend a whole afternoon or day, you know, stacking it, um, you know, that's a lot of savings and it's a lot easier. So I think we might have to adopt this new method. Let me know what you guys think. In the comments below do you think that's you know a fair face cord do you think it's less than a face cord do you think it's more than a face cord let me know in the comments below well okay i think that's going to wrap it up um thanks for your help i appreciate it that made it go a lot faster might be the last time i stack ever i was just going to say this could possibly be the last time we stack wood here on dude ranch diy no i'm kidding because oh, yeah. we have about 50 totes with the faces cut out and all those will always need to be stacked. But from here on out, all the new totes that I we like get. I like stacking. It's I know, you, it's, it's good workout. So, I mean, you can always help with those 50 totes and then all the new totes that we get. Um, maybe we, we won't be doing the stacking. Um, so yeah, like I said before, let me know what you think this is. A third of a cord, a, a, a quarter cord, you know, just from your experience. I'm sure some of you guys have done tests similar to this before. Um, the Linkit conveyor by Interquip worked out great now that I have it on the whole raise and lower thing with the boat winch. So um, if you're interested in one of those, check out the link down below. It is uh, dude20 is the promo code for 20% off. Keep in mind that is like a couple thousand dollars that you could be saving. It's pretty wild, right? It's a good um, deal. It is a good deal. So yeah, that's going to be it. I think Sarah and I might, might go head out on the boat for the very first time this year. We're excited for that. Beautiful night. Um, it's a beautiful evening. So uh, that's going to wrap it up. So as always, guys, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button down below. I've said it a couple times. We're getting super close to 10,000 subscribers, which is pretty wild. Um, so crazy. So you could be the 10,000th subscriber. Uh, questions, comments, feedback, put it in the comment section. But for now, I'm Jake. I'm Sarah. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys here next time.